the dark side of the ring the last of the von erics season one episode four this week's dark side of the ring uh you know focused on the last surviving member of the von eric uh family kevin von eric if i could compare i guess the von eric brothers and the insane popularity they had in texas especially amongst the females they were the uh, bts the one direction of that era they had character they were athletic and they were easy uh, on the eyes for most along with uh, their father fritz von eric they ruled wccw in the state of texas maybe that's why their demise is so tragic for those that seen uh, uh, the triumph and tragedy of WCCW, which was a great documentary, uh, a lot of of that stuff that was talked about in those episodes, you guys already know. But who those who haven't seen the WWE's documentary, here's some take takeaways from that episode. You know, by being a Nazi, one Fritz von Erich became a despised heel at the start of his career fritz von eric wrestled under his real name jack atkinson it wasn't until his first son jack jr was electrocuted and drowned in uh and drowned on in, in 1959 that he changed from his he took a change he changed his given name and took on a part of a nazi called fritz von eric from berlin germany jack jr's death will be the first and unfortunately not the last death the von Erichs would have to uh, suffer through. Two, when he brought uh, WCCW, it was so that Fritz von Erich can showcase his sons. There was no doubt that when he brought uh, WCCW, it was Fritz's plan, I guess, to sh showcase his sons, David, Kevin, and Kerry. You have David, who had the natural talent of a wrestler, uh, Kevin was athletic and had the looks. In that episode, um, Kevin talked about how the female fans were so crazy about him that they would try to grab uh, onto Kevin so much that by the time he hit the ring, he was already scratched up. Kerry was the modern-day warrior. His body looked uh, like, like it was chiseled from granite. Three, David Von Erich, uh, I think you could say, was getting room for NWA World Championship uh, run before he died. Out of all the deaths that the Von Erichs had, in my opinion, the death of David Von Erich, I think, hurts the most. He had charisma. He had, he had that in-ring knowledge. But most of all, David had that it factor that, you know, made NWA... Uh, board decide to give him a shot at being a NWA world champion. Unfortunately, he didn't get the opportunity to become world champion. February 10th, 1984, while on a tour in Japan, David Von Erich passed away. Now, according to Ric Flair, he claimed that David died from painkiller uh, pain overdose, but an official autopsy revealed that uh, David died... Uh, you know, from ruptured uh, intestines from uh, you know, just uh, tragic you know on May 6th the first Von Erich parade of champions took place at Texas Stadium in the main event Gary Von Erich defeated Ric Flair for the NWA world title in front of a emotional crowd now if you've seen the triumph and tragedy of WCCW Michael P.S. Hayes had said that while the crowd was going wild over Kerry's victory, the wrestlers felt uh, it was anticlimactic because David was supposed to be champion. For bringing in a wrestler to be the cousin of the Von Erichs was a complete disaster. There has been other uh, decisions that Fritz Von Erich made uh, has made after the Lance Von Erich debacle but this one shattered kind of the Von Erich image as being wholesome now that Lance Von Erich character name came about 
when Mike Von Erich couldn't wrestle because of uh, toxic shock syndrome. With David passing away and Mike being sick, Fritz Von Erich brought in this wrestler named William Vaughn and renamed him Lance Von Erich with the background that he was related to the Von Erich family. Kevin, along with the rest of the family, was against the idea. And when William Vaughn bolted from WCCW and embarrassed Fritz, had to break kayfabe and go on TV and say that Lance Von Erich really wasn't a member of the Von Erichs. Four, Mike, Chris, and Kerry Von Erich would also succumb to the pressure of being a Von Erich. The common denominator behind the suicides between Mike, Chris, and Kerry, you know, I always believed was the pressure of being a Von Erich. And I loved Kevin Kerry Von Erich growing up. Mike never wanted to be a wrestler in the first place. Chris was too small to be a wrestler. And because he was taking um, you know, something for his asthma, his bones were too brittle. The pressure of being a success, like the older, eventually you know, led to the suicides of Mike and Chris Von Erich. The reason for Kerry's suicide, I think, was slightly uh, different. June 4th, 1986, Kerry had a motorcycle accident that eventually led to the amputation of his right foot. He first got hooked on painkillers after the accident, and then it snowballed to other drugs. He was arrested twice. First arrest resulted in probation. But with his second arrest, Kerry was looking at jail time. With jail time not being there for his own family. And him, according to Bret Hart's autobiography, wanting to be with his brothers, Kerry Von Erich committed suicide. February 1993, at his father's ranch. You know, now when you look at it, Kerry Von Erich is the last surviving member of the Von Erich family after his father Fritz uh, died in 97. Today, and his father died of cancer, today Kevin is married and living in Hawaii with his sons Marshall and Ross. The story of the Von Erich kind of reminds me of the ending to the film The Last of the Cur uh, Curlews. First, there, there were so many, then... Then it was few. Now there is only one. Soon they, there will be none. And unfortunately, all the tragedies and mistakes overshadowed the success that WCCW has made, which is tragic in itself. You know, short, but an incredible success the Von Erichs did have. Super sad, especially you know, the one with Mike. Just the way Kevin told the story, how he was wondering where he was and what he was thinking. I can't even imagine what Kevin goes through seeing all his brothers dead or in front of him. It still probably just um, has to haunt him. Just uh, want to know, you know, too, how much would, how much jail time would, was Kerry really looking at? Hope all is well. Look forward to speaking to you guys very, very soon.